some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we have Afro Man's dad whining and crying about an $800 FOIA request. I wonder what he got that was worth that much. At any rate, let's sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Hello. Hi, can I help you? Yeah, I, uh... I'm here about a uh, FOIA request. Okay. What FOIA request? Um, I paid you $200 in cash for a uh, FOIA request, as you guys requested. And... What's your name? Uh, my name's D, but this is, this is going to be under Casey Van Evel, but it's my money that is paying for it. I okay, came in here. Okay. Okay. Hi, Dustin. So why do you guys keep? Why'd you guys shut the window on me like that? That that was rude and disrespectful. We're here to help you. You had a question about the FOIA. Well, this isn't the first time you guys have shut the window on me and you've shut the window on other people. That That's rude and that's disrespectful and that's why certain people have the attitude with you guys that they do. It's disrespectful to shut the window. Was I rude to you when I walked in? How can I help you? I asked you a question. Was I rude when I walked in? I'm not going to discuss that. Okay, well you need to start treating people with respect. Respect is a two-way street. In order to get respect, you've got to give respect. And in the case of frauditors such as yourself, you never give respect. Okay. So I came in here, paid $200 cash for a FOIA request. And I paid $200 because that is the paperwork that you guys gave. That's the number that you guys came up with. I paid to do a job and I need you to do the job. Okay, I don't have a request from you. Okay, and it, so you're obviously not listening to what I said. I came in here with Casey Van Neville. It's gonna be under his name, but I came in here and paid my money for it, in cash. That's between you and Casey. So we've been in contact with Casey. Yeah. His request. Yeah, and he got a letter saying that now you guys want $800 when you wanted $200 you got your $200 if you wanted 800 you should have put 800 in the first letter so that 200 is a down payment that's not no it's it's not what it said on the paperwork it did I'm wondering how much he requested if the total payment was supposed to be $800 with a $200 down payment up front in addition didn't you read the whole invoice? I'm going to take a wild guess and that you didn't read the entire itemized invoice for the uh, transaction. In which case, this is definitely on you. Okay, so I just got um, some body cams from the Lynn County Sheriff's Department. They're $35. I got some body cams from Cedar Rapids Police Department. They're $90. I'm not paying you $800, okay? I'm not stupid. You need to be reasonable. Well, it's Casey's request, so. But it's my money. I paid for this right here on camera. Right, right here. Okay, that's between you and Casey. Okay, but I when I hand you my money it's to do a job. Okay, well we did it. Well no, well, no you didn't because we don't have the body camps. Well, you have to pay the balance. Okay, explain to me why it costs $800. That's the time involved. Once again, you hit a stone wall. Time involved. You think anybody's going to sit down and watch all that body cam footage for free? Nope. That's not how it works. Perhaps you should have invested more time into researching what the actual costs of the FOIAs would be, such as time involved in searching through body cam footage. Time involved. $800. 
That, that's like going to the store, buying a Coca-Cola, and paying $50 for a 20-ounce bottle. That has to be one of the worst analogies I have ever heard. Okay, I'm not stupid. <laughs> it doesn't cost $800. $200 is really even too much. Did you have any other questions or? Because that's what it is. Okay, well, I would like you to do your job or give me my money back. Okay, it's non refundable. That was. Non refundable. That information was shared with you and Casey before you paid. Whoopsie daisy. Looks like you guys need to go back to school and learn how to read. I, from what I remember, it doesn't say that in the paperwork. Okay. I'd like to speak with your supervisor. Okay. This is my sergeant. So I'm non-duty supervisor right now. What she said is accurate. $800. Do I look stupid? Um, yes. Yes. Yes, you do look stupid. And in fact, you raised a stupid son as well, who defended himself in his recent trial and lost because he's such a moron. Congratulations. The apple doesn't far, fall far from the tree. You're, you're not going to back me up on this? $800? That's, that's the balance, and that's what's owed. Okay, you guys are both being unreasonable. As I said, Lynn County, right? Downtown Cedar Rapids, $35. Cedar Rapids Police Department, 90 You guys are being unreasonable here. This is where I'm going to call it, because... He just spends the next 10 minutes whining and crying about it and refusing to pay and all that good stuff. Thus, he walks out of there empty-handed. Um, oh, he'll be crying in his pillow tonight.